A potential history-making mission blasted off overnight from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It's an important step in America's mission to one day return to the moon. Aliana Gomez is here to tell us more about it. Oh, this is exciting, guys. This could be the first American spacecraft to land on the moon since Apollo 17, which is back in 1972. So this could be history in the making. It would be the first ever by a private company as well. The SpaceX rocket carrying the lander launched overnight from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. If all goes well, it'll touch down near the moon's south pole next week. Intuitive Machines is a private company that built the moon lander known as Odysseus, nicknamed Odie. NASA is looking to carry out a host of experiments to see if the south pole is a good location for future missions to the moon. The moon has one sixth the gravity of Earth and no atmosphere. So it's a much easier place to launch deeper into the solar system. It really is the launching pad into human exploration out into deep space. And the company that built Odysseus, or Odie, also wants to provide delivery for those future manned missions as well, like food and supplies. A Pittsburgh-based company tried and failed to make it to the moon last month. So if this goes well this time, it would mark an important, an important first in the commercial space race. And you, Matt, you were talking about you here. It's cold on the moon. Yeah, I like the nickname. Odie, it sounds, right? It sounds like someone will turn up for apple slices in a juice box at your house. Yeah. <laughs> Odie's here. <laughs> Oh, wait, he's got to go to the moon later. So. Yeah. Oh, All it's right. exciting. We're going to have it to is. keep tabs on it yeah, and see how it goes. Well, thanks, Eliana.